Hey guys, we're back with another rendition of reacting to Fragrance TikTok. If you haven't explored Fragrance TikTok, it's sort of like the online fragrance community over there uh, that is different to YouTube. You need to experience it if you haven't already. Probably a younger crowd, a more casual crowd most of the time I would say, but there's definitely their own creators over there. Uh, it's quite an interesting place with some cursed content. I feel like our previous few parts of this series have been too normal, so hopefully we'll find some more weird videos to react today. Our own fragrance brand, Atrium Fragrance, will be releasing its own office fragrance called Mr. Elegance. More information regarding this release will be coming in the next few weeks. Make sure you click the link in the description below to be signed up for notifications for when this release is available. It's only going to be available to purchase for one week only as a pre-order during the last week of January. So make sure you sign up so you do not miss out. Okay, fragrance hacks and tips you've probably never heard of. Good. These are the kind of videos that's going to be fairly cursed, I'd say, because these tips never end up being useful. But I might be wrong. Let's watch. Okay, let's just stop right there. This is exactly what I mean. What the hell is this? <laughs> this sounds like a joke to me. I don't know if this is a, a, a troll video or a serious one. What is that? Like, yeah, I, guess, I mean, it's, I guess it's true. Yeah, the heat from the light bulb will dissipate the fragrance, but I feel like you probably just like short circuit the wiring or something. I don't recommend this. I guess that's true. Yeah, they're usually base notes that last a long time. Fair enough. That makes no sense. Fragrance notes in general last longer in the clothes. Why would florals in particular last longer? I don't know. Floral notes are usually mid notes, so they're not even bass notes. I've seen some people recommend this before. Don't put any fragrance into your iron. You're just going to ruin your iron and it just doesn't make any sense. You might as well just spray the fragrance directly normally like a normal person onto your clothes after you've ironed it. Be normal. No, <laughs> what was that? That was like just half a second. He did the weirdest, most wild thing. He just sprayed his toilet roll dispenser and then just moved on like he didn't just, just defile that toilet roll. I, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, that's like tip number six is fine. I think that's very reasonable. I don't know why the rest of the video can't be normal. This is what I mean. I don't know if this is a serious or troll video. Yeah, that, I've seen that hack before. You can yeah, put your frames into a moisturizer. That will work. I think this is a weird video. I think there's going to be some very funny comments. <laughs> First comment is, Cologne be too expensive to be spraying in a damn light bulb. That is true. I never thought I'd see the day where we have to worry about people spraying their electrical appliances with their cologne. <laughs> Listen, bro, you got to calm down. Like This is actually a really sad comment. It sounds like an intervention. Um, I hope this guy seeks the help that he needs because no one should be spraying toilet rolls or light bulbs. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. What the hell is this? First of all, how is it that he's going to make Versace Eros and then he actually gets an actual tangerine and squeezes it? I'm not even sure if Eros has tangerine as a note, but that's not how you get a perfume oil, guys. You need to use steam distillation to get an essential oil. Uh, and this is just uh, cursed. This is cursed content. I don't know what to say here, guys. What the hell is that? He didn't explain what that was. That looks like Gatorade in a weird bottle. I don't trust that. No, no, I'm sorry. You putting on a fancy cap and a nice label is not going to make us ignore the fact that you just squeeze a tangerine for no reason because it didn't make a later appearance into the video and you sprayed some forbidden Gatorade into that bottle and then you made a mess as well. What is this? I don't know what is in that bottle. I don't know if you should spray that on your skin. I'm not sure if that's safe. How did this get 2.6 million views? That's not how you make Versace arrows. 
Okay, so this video is called Girlfriend Rates the Azara Wanted line. Azara Wanted is quite an interesting line because the very first release is extremely different to the very last release of the most wanted part of Farm. So it'll be interesting to see her reactions across the transformation of the line over. Original Wanted is sort of like an Invictus clone, in my opinion. And Wanted Tonic was quite mediocre when I tried. I think I tried it a long time ago. I can't remember it being very good. That's 11 out of 10. 11. I kind of think Wanted by Night is a little bit overrated. Does anyone else agree with me? I don't really like the fragrance personally, but she likes it. The Most Wanted, in my opinion, is my most favorite. Unfortunately, I still have not tried the Most Wanted Parfum. A lot of people are saying good things about Most Wanted Parfum. I think I definitely need to try it, guys. Have you tried it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. For incredible fragrances for men only, not boys. Yves Saint Laurent, Nain Louis de Lone. It's one of the most seductive fragrances that you could ever wear. It's a nighttime fragrance for when you're dressed to impress. I think probably young guys can wear it as well. I think you could probably be a boy and still wear Nain Louis de Lone. <laughs> I think it works across all age groups, honestly. Joe <laughs> Profumo. It's grown up, it's powerful, and it's for the boss, the CEO who wants to command respect. And it lasts. You're gonna be able to smell this one for hours after you spray. Yeah, I agree with that. Aqua Di Gio Profumo is definitely the more mature office version of Aqua Di Gio. I agree. Come forward, ombre leather parfum. It has this unique sweet leather scent, but not dirty old leather couch, more like brand new designer leather jacket. And it's great for a night out. So I'm not sure if it's a night out fragrance for everyone. It's definitely an acquired test uh, ombre leather parfum. I think it's a cool fragrance, but you gotta try before you buy it. definitely it's, it's a sweet powdery floral leather quite a different and bold take on the original ombre leather uh, i would say ombre leather the original is a safer night out scent parfum your results may vary gentlemen reserve privé by Givenchy. this is a boozy classy fragrance for sophisticated stylish men but yeah i think it's a safe evening fragrance uh, reserve privé i'm not the biggest fan of Givenchy, gentlemen the entire line but yeah i agree with alex costa nice you guys already wear fragrances or not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know this is going to be an interesting video. <laughs> you guys already wear fragrances or not? Yeah. Yeah. Which ones? Um, I had hey. your surprise. Another one. Man, do it correctly. Yeah. Wait, what? What just happened? Why? What did he do incorrectly? Let me just rewind and see what happens. Um, I had. Hey. Another one. Man, do it correctly. <laughs> that is so harsh. It's just because he looked the other way. I think he got distracted during the photo. And Jeremy is not happy about that. Yeah, do it correctly, bro. Your savage is good. Yeah. You also want to do a picture with me? No. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Your savage is good. Get it on discount, the eau de toilette big bottle. Thanks. Holy crap, Jeremy seemed pissed in this video, like he was just going through the motions, but he was having none of it. He had no patience today. Don't waste his time if you're taking pictures the wrong way. Wow, maybe just Jeremy was in a bad mood on this day. Top 5 Favourite Men's Fragrances Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de l'Homme A fresh, woody fragrance that is easygoing, chilled and very sexy. Yeah, that's true. If you want a date night fragrance, that's probably the most balanced DNA that doesn't go too sweet, then Nuit de l'Homme will do it. Victor Rolf Spice Mom Extreme, an addictive spicy tobacco scent that's perfect for date night. It just adds that extra spice. No, it depends. Which formulation do you have? Because I believe the newer formulation is a little weaker, but if it's the old formulation that's beastly, you will kill your date. So be careful with how strong this fragrance is. Marc Antoine Barrois Ganymede, a mineral citrusy leather. The guy wearing the scent is probably driving a Ferrari in Saint Tropez, living his best life. So yeah, that's kind of true. It smells luxurious. I thought it was pronounced Ganymede. Um, have I been pronouncing it wrong this entire time? But yeah, I would say Ganymede is metallic, aquatic, suede, mature, definitely. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. It got a lot of hype. It's definitely a very long lasting fragrance, but it's definitely a unique mature man's aquatic. So uh, definitely try before you buy. Tom Ford, Oudwood, the epitome of class. This is the scent of a gentleman. Think James Bond. I'm not sure if Oudwood is gentlemanly per se, but it's just quite a sexy, versatile fragrance. But I do think it's a strong recommendation. 
And finally, Gentle Fluidity Silver by Maison Francis Gurdjian. Picture this, you're on a yacht drinking an expensive gin and tonic. This is what this perfume is about. Super fresh and so intoxicating. It's a nice fragrance, but I think you need to be okay with the high amount of ambroxan. That's what annoys me about Gentle Fluidity Silver. Super long lasting, fresh, clean. Yes, I think it's called Juniper Berry, which gives off that gin and tonic effect, but that ambroxan annoys me <laughs> and I think it's too much in this fragrance. We're paying that much money, don't want something that's too synthetic and too cloying with that ambroxan. The funniest moment in fragrance TikTok just happened. So in Jeremy Fragrance's brand new video, he's- Oh God, here we go. Fragrance beef on TikTok. Let's see how this goes. Brand new video, he's basically gifting his fragrance to this guy saying that he's using influencers to promote his brand. Keep in mind guys, this guy when I checked had at least like 800 followers. That's not true. That's uh, Glenn uh, from Mr. Cologne 76, a very famous page on Instagram. He is not a nobody. So that means before Jeremy Fragrance actually promoted him, he had less. He was doing all that while there was literally Fragrance Knowledge in the back who has over 600,000 followers. And he's basically just waiting in the back like a fan. Sometimes TikTok creators are annoying and this is a perfect example of this. The funniest thing is that when Fragrance Knowledge actually met him, he didn't even treat him right. He was showing him his 600,000 follower account and he was basically just throwing him off like, oh yeah, you're the big shot, you're the big shot. Honestly, I think whichever amount of fame you can ever get, you shouldn't treat the fan like that. I do agree with that, you know, hopefully, I think Jeremy does treat Fragrance Knowledge nicely. Fragrance Knowledge is a big page on TikTok himself. He's a great channel. He's also on Instagram as well. He's very good, does good reviews. Um, but yeah, Jeremy, I think sometimes can get a little bit big headed, actually. That's just him as a person. But all of us are imperfect. Some of us have worse things than others, like we saw in that other video. So I don't think we should judge Jeremy too harshly. And I think these fake TikTok beef videos don't show the whole picture. I don't, I don't believe any of this personally. And also all this happened while there was also Cologne Talk right here in the back, who has at least 50 times more followers and more fame than whoever this guy is. That's Mr. Cologne76, he's not a nobody. Let me know what you guys think, am I overreacting or is Jeremy Fragrance not making the right decisions here? You're overreacting. This is a turn. This is definitely a turn. You might not agree with me, but this is also a turn. Okay, this is going too fast. Let's slow this down and talk about each fragrance that's apparently a 10 out of 10. This is a turn. No, Stronger With You Intensity is not a 10 for everyone. It's a great fragrance, sexy, but it's super sweet. Too sweet for my liking, so you need to really have a sweet tooth in the fragrance world to appreciate this. A nice cold weather evening scent overall though. This is definitely a 10. jean paul Go, TA Le Beau, Le Parfum, I'll give it maybe like a 9. It's not to my style, but I think it does a lot of things really well. It's quite an interesting, unique, creative blend uh, that does smell a little bit synthetic, so that's why I wouldn't give it a perfect score. Good, good performance and good versatility, so check it out. It's a sold release from the brand. You might not agree with me, but this is also a 10. That's Born in Roma Intense, a new release by Valentino. I definitely need to try this. I Apparently this is one of the best fragrance releases all year round, it's getting a lot of hype. This is so good, it's a 20 out of 10. No, no, the one Eau de Parfum is a classic, it's great, but it's, you need better performance to be a perfect 10 out of 10 in my opinion. This thing is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Yeah, maybe Oud Wood still is a 10, what do you guys think? Is, does it still deserve that score even after this reformulation? And this is just so good. Yeah, I'll still give Layton a 10 out of 10. Do you agree or disagree? And that concludes this video today, guys. I think we've had a nice mixture of both cursed and normal content in the world of fragrance TikTok today. Have you explored fragrance TikTok ever since I started doing these reaction videos, guys? What are your thoughts on the world of fragrance TikTok? If you haven't already, guys, make sure to check out our previous part of me reacting to these kind of videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.